is an American success story, author, interventional radiologist, motivational speaker. My mission is to empower you. His story begins on a boat full of refugees escaping Vietnam after the fall of Saigon. He's barely a toddler when his family arrives to the U.S. Life wasn't easy for young Kien. He's no stranger to anti-Asian hate. Growing up, I felt, you know, I certainly felt less than. I didn't feel like I could express myself. And I always felt like because of the color of my own skin that, um, I would not amount to anything. He found great success as a medical doctor, but the success came at a cost. Not only was I diagnosed with diabetes and hypertension and felt like a fraud being a doctor having chronic disease, but you know, I was dating somebody at the time I thought I was gonna marry and she actually left me for another man. This was because I was so wrapped up in chasing success that I neglected all my relationships. He calls that the call from the universe to change his life from fat to fit. He healed his chronic disease, and from his journey, his first book just released in April. It's not just the, the physical things uh, that uh, affect our health. It is also the mental, the emotional, and the spiritual energy that also talks to ourselves, giving them instructions to either go into a stress state where we get chronic disease or enter a thrive state. A state of optimal health, longevity, and peak performance. And in this time when anti-Asian hate is on the rise, the good doctor warns hate hurts and can manifest as a physical issues in the body. And what happens when we have that stress in the body? Well, increases uh, um, inflammation, uh, it also decreases our immunity, and that prones us to get chronic symptoms such as brain fog, fatigue, weight gain, mental disorders such as anxiety, depression. His prescription for relief, deep breaths, find your calm. That increases your parasympathetic nervous system. You'll start to s calm down those those emotions. So in that space, we can decide, hey, you know what? I don't want this hate to perpetuate. I still want to show up with love and then start to take action. So what we do want to sh show up with love and anger. What is the next action we take? And then that allows us to start to respond rather than to react to everything that's happening. So I think it's really crucial just to have awareness of our, our, of our own feelings and emotions there. Dr. Vu says the hate in the perpetrators also triggers stress reactors in their body and claims that studies show those people will live shorter lives than the rest of us thanks to that anger, fear, and resentment. Still ahead